What's up, Internet? So today, I want to discuss fire kits. Um, I haven't done a video just about my fire kit, so I thought I'd do that with you guys today, show you exactly what's in my fire kit. I update it from time to time, um, but a comment that I see a lot of times on many different videos on Facebook is, you know, why do I need so many fire starters? Why do I need so many different ways of starting fire? Well, I'm gonna briefly discuss that, and I'm gonna show you what I got in my main fire kit. So let's get on with the fire kit. I got it in my drop leg pack right here from you Koala. This is a really freaking cool pack right here. Got this not too long ago. I've only used it a couple times, but uh, I'm starting to use it more now that my daughter has gained interest in building like a bushcraft camp right here out in our woods. So um, be on the lookout for a video about this U Koala pack as I use it over time. And I'll tell you guys about it. Maybe it's something you'll like to have one day. But I got my fire kit in there. There she is. So let me show you what I got inside. So of course this is in no particular order or anything. I do have this in a Pelican 1020 Micro Series case right here. Um, it's a really nice case. It's got a rubber liner on the inside and it also serves as the gasket to help keep things in here dry. It's not super compact, but it's not huge. So let's see what I got on the inside here. So this here is pyro putty. This recently came in a battle box mission right here. Um, on occasion, we send fire starters, right, in battle box. So it's a great way to uh, really have good fire kits in a multitude of different ways to start fire. So this stuff works really good. It takes a spark very well. It doesn't take a whole lot of it to get going. It burns for quite a while, so it helps you um, dry out wet wood, damp wood, and get a fire started when a, there's a lot of damp material or if it's actually raining outside. So, so I took it out of the tin that it comes in. I put it in a little Ziploc bag, a little sandwich bag, so I can mash it down flat and put it in my kit here. So this stuff works really, really well in all sorts of conditions. Wet, windy, you name it, this stuff works great. The next thing that's accessible <laughs> in my kit right now is this other little uh, little bag here. I've actually got dryer lint um, and some of my wife's hair. So uh, dryer lint is a great way to help you start fire. Um, and it's free, right? You just, when you clean out your dryer lint catch in your uh, dryer, you just put it in some bags and it's great for starting fires. Also in here, I have some treated cotton. I'm not sure what brand this came from, um, but I also have some treated cotton in here that also works well and it kind of complements dryer lint. So this is another great way of helping you start fire and it's free. Next, I got my trusty ferrocerium rod with magnesium here and the striker. I've had this for years. I had this long before I was ever involved with BattleBox in any capacity. Um, as you can see, it's been used quite a bit and it's lasted me, shoot, I've probably had this thing eight years, maybe nine. Um, really, really good fire starter right here. When you find one that you really love, um, you know, you stick with it, right? So this is a great tool right here for starting fires. I've got magnesium. It's a very good grade of magnesium. It's easy to shave off and it takes a spark very well. And, uh, this thing shower sparks, I just love it. So that's why it's in my main kit. So next up, I have this AA battery right here that I've got wrapped up in duct tape. So I have duct tape if I need it. So if it's really windy out, you can lay duct tape down where the uh, sticky part is face up while you're trying to shave off tinder or anything like that to help you get to start your fire started. If it's real windy, it'll stick to the duct tape so it doesn't blow away. So that's one thing for the duct tape, but also so it doesn't this post doesn't connect connect anything, um, touch anything that may be metal in here and discharge my battery. So I also have some aluminum foil in here. So in a pinch, I can take some aluminum foil on each side. It should start to heat up and melt 
and uh, can use that to start a fire. Also, aluminum foil is really good for in damp conditions. You can lay this down and kind of build your fire up on top of it so it's not sitting on the wet ground and none of that real fine material that you're making doesn't soak up any water from the ground. So aluminum foil, battery with duct tape. Next up, I got a few little pieces here from the uh, fat, uh, what's it called? Fat rope fire starter. Um, actually did a testing video. Uh, I think it posted last week on the battle box sites uh, of this stuff. So this is broken down into small pieces like this. So that fat rope's pretty large. It wouldn't fit in my fire kit. So I condensed it down to little pieces like this. So I got several of those in here. Um, that I can use to start a fire. Much like the pyro putty, this burns for quite a while and it'll help you get a fire started in a damp condition and a windy condition as well. Next, we're going a little bit old school. I enjoy doing this from time to time. Um, definitely with the other things I have, it's easier to start fire, but sometimes it's fun to use old flint and steel like this right here. This came in a battle box a while back. I also have a little piece of char cloth in here to help me catch an ember. So I can put it in a bird's nest and rock and roll. We got fire. So great skill to have. Love to practice it when time presents itself. Next, I have some of these little cotton tabs right here. Um, these actually came in, I think, that boss fire kit that uh, came in a battle box a while back. Like I said, when you get uh, fire starters in battle box, it's great because you can make multiple kits. You can take pieces out of each kit that may come in battle box and assort them around in your own kits. But this right here is just some uh, treated cotton. It's in a little tab right here. You can break off just a little piece and use it or use the whole thing, etc., etc. And you got a cool way to start fire right there. Next up in my kit, I got this little Smith's tinder box right here. This came in a battle box quite some time ago. This thing right here is awesome. So it's basically a cheese grater on a box so you can process down small sticks, twigs, um, and even stuff like I got right here, which is lighter knot or fat wood or fat lighter. Um, this is very prevalent where I live here in Georgia. Um, I've actually got an awful lot of this here at the house, but having it processed down in little sticks right here is nice because then you can scrape it on here and it'll collect inside and have you a nice amount to help you start a fire. But on the inside of this, I've got more. So I've got some guitar picks that also came in battle box. Um, these work really good. You can process these down, put them on a stick, start a fire. I've showed videos of doing that before. Really cool stuff right there. It's just fun to show people. Um, and if somebody's in camp that plays guitar and they forgot their guitar pick, well, you know, you're in luck. Also, I've got the magnesium tablets that came in um, the boss kit, the boss fire kit that was in battle box. Um, I can't remember what mission it was. I'm bad about that kind of stuff. But this is really good magnesium, very, very fine. If it's extremely windy out, I would recommend using the duct tape to help you out because the wind will blow this away right here. These things right here work awesome. So I got some of those. I just keep them here in this box because I'm running out of space in my kit. And that's that. Also, I keep a Fresnel lens in case I need that to start a fire or anything. Use it as a magnifying glass if I can't read very well. <laughs> also, I carry this tiny survival guide right here. Um, having literature on you is a great thing. This is a very durable, waterproof little guide right here. It covers all sorts of stuff. Um, can go in your wallet but i thought it'd be cool to keep in my fire kit just in case i need it or i need to freshen up any um any of my survival skills or whatever while i'm enjoying my fire so that's the tiny survival guide right there it's small compact thought it'd be a great addition to go into my kit and then lastly i've got this little stove right here it's a compact stove it's got uh, utensils and tools as well it's just a little pocket survival stove i keep that in here in case I ever need it. Um, I have not used it yet, but uh, as you can tell, it's still in the packaging. I haven't had a need to use it yet, but uh, I have it. It's kept right there in my kit, so if I need it, well, I got it. 
Yeehaw. Oh yeah, and don't think for one minute I don't keep a lighter on me. <laughs> Some of y'all probably thinking, he ain't got a lighter in there? Well, I keep this in my pocket at all times. So this is part of my EDC. Um, I got it in a lighter, bro, that came in Battle Box. It's got a blade. It's got a pair of scissors right here. If I can get my fingernail to get it out. I got a pair of scissors right there. It's got a scratch all. Got a bottle opener, of course. We got fire. So yeah, of course, the uh, first thing that should be in any fire kit should be a basic Bic lighter, right? I mean, why not? Let's make things easy here. But having the ability to do multiple um, techniques of starting a fire is what really counts. So that's my main fire kit. Again, I've got several other fire kits, smaller ones, more minimalistic ones, more just more primitive type fire kits. But uh, this is my main one. This is kind of my go-to when we go camping or we're going to go out in the woods or we're out uh, shooting videos or doing anything. I typically have this on me because I feel like I've got all my bases covered. But that's subjective, right? So in the comments below, how about uh, tell me what you would add, what you would subtract, what you think about this kit. And, uh, you know, if you got any cool ideas, I'd like to try it out. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications of when I got more videos coming out. Yeehaw. I'll see you next time right here on Curran 1776.